Hello Filmora editors, welcome back to Tube Media Tutorials. The all-new Filmora 13 is launched with some new professional tools that makes it more advanced for both amateurs and professionals. With the new compound clip, you can group multiple clips into one, and it will act as one. You can modify as needed, and it will help you separate different scenes in your videos without affecting each other. To know more about compound clip, you can ask the new Filmora Copilot. Applying a compound clip function combines several clips into one editable object. Imagine putting together puzzle pieces to form a bigger picture. You can then adjust and edit this merged clip as a whole, simplifying complex sequences. This new clip can also be reused in any project, like using a building block for different creations. It offers flexibility, control, and makes video editing more efficient and creative. It's like having a versatile tool for managing and organizing your video content. This feature is also known as nested clip among professionals. In big projects, it also ensures you don't mess with it easily. So select the clips you want to compound, right click, create compound clip. Give it a name and it's created. You can create multiple compound clips as needed, separating scenes, chapters, etc. Now these work as one single clip so you can speed up or slow down just like you do for normal single videos. You can edit it like change the scale, positions, rotation, etc. It's most useful in color grading, adding preset LUTs and also edit or modify the audio like denoise, remove hum, hiss, etc. Another amazing thing about compound clip is, you can save the clips as custom. It appears in the custom menu under the compound clip. Now, as I mentioned before, you can import these custom compound clips to other projects as well. An amazing feature to have in the new Filmora 13. Next feature we're going to discuss is the new keyframe panel where you can visualize the keyframe animation graph and Filmora 13 introduces new velocity graphs, with which you can create real-life motions with speed control. You must be aware of how to use keyframe animations. Let's create a zoom-out animation. So, place the playhead at the starting point, change the scale, position, and add keyframes. Then move the playhead to the end of the animation, change the scale, position as desired, new keyframes will be added automatically and your animation is ready. Now, to get more control over the animation, the new keyframe panel comes into action. As I mentioned, new velocity graphs are incorporated, which are continuous curve, normal curve, ease in, ease out, linear and freeze. Let's apply the ease out curve. You can drag and control the speed velocity as you like it. Now, with keyframe animation, you can control the camera movement and change the video perspective. For example, let's try to zoom into the teacup, track the cup, and then finally zoom out. With the keyframe panel, you can visualize the animation and also, if you want, you can add velocity control curves for more real life motions. So, definitely the keyframe panel is an amazing new tool in the Filmora 13. Let's ask the copilot to know more. Filmora keyframing creates fantastic visual animations, change positions in the hand drawing pattern, scale subject of the clip with keyframing, customize capacity to make your shot precise and concise, animate video clips as you want, including enlarge, narrow, rotate, change in color and opacity, etc. So, friends, this is the end of the tutorial. Download and try Filmora 13 today. It's great. Thanks for watching today's episode of Filmora Tutorials on Tube Media. Subscribe for more videos like this.